That's how you know you're in Daytona, boys. Look at that NASCAR. Oh, yeah. That's, are you out of your mind? I'm vlogging. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's not happy. He's an Asian water monitor. Oh, you got two grand? He's super friendly. We made it about 45 minutes. Blew a tire in the trailer. Uh, a little tiny bit of rubber, a whole lot of rim. Real quick before this video starts, I do want to announce that there is a join button on the channel, or I'll leave a link to it in the description below. You guys can click on it, see what it all is. It's not needed. It is just a suggestion if you guys want to support me and the channel and what we do. Obviously, you get extra things on there as well. So if you guys want to give it a look, you can. If not, I don't want to hear you complain about it in the comment section because no one cares. Ha! So fun. Anyway, enjoy this video. Augie, you ready for vacation? Ready. Augie's ready for vacation. Sorry if I look like I got like a thing going on. I was at the dentist and this whole side of my face was it's pretty numb. We're just going to my dad's house. It's not, not not really vacation. It's for one whole day. It's pretty good. Literally 24 hours and we'll be back home here. But we're bringing the boat, some couple rods. We're going to try and catch Augie's biggest redfish. Maybe first redfish really if you want to call it that. He's only ever caught in one. So well, it was 12 whole inches. So he's got something already bigger than that. May go up there and not catch anything. And that's really it. But I know of two things I do have to do there. I got to, uh, my dad has a sushi restaurant. He wants me to film a couple things for it. So I'll kind of show you guys little bits and pieces of that. They're, they get like full fish shipped in. And they like cut it all there so it's fresh fish that whole thing and then uh grandma wants a new uh a, a new fish tank well she already has a fish tank she just wants it re-put back up that'll be quick and easy It'll only take about an hour of our time i'm hoping so you guys will maybe meet her we'll see if she wants to be on camera or not uh she's a big fan of the videos so shout out to you Mima. i call Mima and papa hopefully she's happy with the tank when it's done but we shall see so we're gonna jump in the truck here everything's loaded ready to go and we shall get there first stop we've stopped here in palm bay florida if any of you guys are familiar with florida it's kind of around the melbourne area but we stopped here because augie's got big money to spend at bass pro apparently but we got this fancy bass pro here they got live gators and hogs let's see if we can see any oh i see a tail of one there's a tail of one oh oh hold up hold up we gotta go over there there's a bunch there's a bunch laying on the side over here I'll, I'll, we're gonna walk over there wow that's one big lizard right there augie jump in go wrestle him I'll do it. What do you think his name is, Steve? You got any Sheldon? extra chicken? He'd probably like it. Sheldon. Sheldon yeah. Who names anything Sheldon? Sorry if your name's Sheldon. That sucks. They got wild hogs over here too. I wish they were feeding them or if like I can get like a wiener to throw at them or something. It says something no fun. Food. Well, that's why you got to ask permission. Is it better? No, see, it's better to ask, ask for, for forgiveness than for permission. So if you think about doing anything illegal, kids, you're good. Just ask for Just forgiveness. All right. Well, I found the hogs. They're uh, way down there. Uh, they got a little sprinkler though. Look at this. If it was like midday, they'd probably be rolling around in all this, but uh, I only see two, so I don't know. I don't know if they got more, if there's only normally two, but uh, we're gonna run in here and uh, Augie's gonna buy me something. Oh, look at all the fishies. We got some big redfish in here. Big old bass back there. It's cool because they converted the redfish to freshwater so they could have like typical bass pro fish. Another bass down there. A bunch of bass in here. There's probably like 12, 13 big bass. In. Probably, heck, probably more than that. Probably close to 20 big bass in here. That catfish has got it. These are probably 30-ish, 30, 30, 32 inch redfish. And the bass is half his size. Like that's a big freaking bass. I mean, heck, it's probably bigger than half of the redfish. Look at it right there. Thing's probably a 20 inch redfish or 20 inch bass. What am I saying? I don't know. There's people staring at me. All right, Augie, what'd you get? What's nice the verdict? Little, nice little star rod right here. You got a star rod, the Stellar Light Series. It's a little yeah. seven foot, what is it? Seven foot, six to 14 pound, something like that. And then I got pliers. I got pliers. Augie's the big spender here, but he, he's also got big gift cards. So yeah. hopefully he'll throw mine in there too. These are $30. Why are pliers so expensive? I don't know. It was either this or $60 for the Bubba Blade ones. And I was like, no, no, no. Unless someone at Bubba Blade's watching, then hey, my address is not popping up on screen, but you can text me. I'm buying pliers, that's it. Mine are seized up and dead, so those are going in the trash. All he's gonna purchase, I'm gonna purchase. I think we're gonna keep driving. All right, boys, we made it to Daytona. You said live turtles. Yeah, they sell live turtles in the gift shops here. Wait, what? <laughs> so this is like, uh, like this is, this is literally Daytona Beach. Like here's all the shops, here's everything. 
There's a big old slingshot roller coaster right here. There's a water park on the other side of this Burger King. There's a bunch of stuff here, boys. Well, we can go walk out on the boardwalk if you want, Augie. I don't know where I'm gonna park. I don't have any cash. I have zero, I have nothing. I have no money. I have nothing. Oh. I left it all at home. Lost my ID in Vegas. <laughs> We're just falling apart. But yeah, this is like uh, the strip here. The beach is right over on this side of all these big fancy hotels and condos and stuff. But yeah, we got a nice barbecue right here. The convention center we just passed. Uh, the boardwalk kind of ends right here at the slingshot. There's Krabby Joe's out there. There's Krabby Joe's. That's like the pier right there. Like that, that thing's over the beach. Like that's over the water right now. Oh, it's called it a slingshot. Look how big that daddy is. Holy smoke. Oh, dude, she was vaping. That was sick. That's how you know you're in Daytona, boys. Look at that NASCAR. Oh, yeah. That's, oh. Are you out of your mind? I'm vlogging. All right. Well, I don't know how bright I am, but couldn't find any free parking because neither one of us thought to bring money. I don't know why. I don't know what I was thinking. I was, I'm so used to having my wallet connected to my phone. But when I smashed the phone, obviously lost the, the wallet with it. So we kind of lost everything and now it's, it's kind of just gone. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll see you guys in the morning. Alrighty, boys. It is, uh, here, I'll get a light for you. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. All right, so it's 5.30 in the morning. Augie's already in the truck, boat's loaded, and uh, we're gonna get to fishing here. We gotta run by, grab some bait, and then after we grab bait, headed to the ramp. You ready, Augie? Oh, yeah. Think I'm we're gonna catch you. anything today? I got, I got a good feeling. We're kind of going out on a whim here. We have no idea what we're doing. Uh, never really targeted redfish like this, never really targeted anything like this, so we'll see how this goes. Didn't care for one another, you and I. You and I. I'm glad it's Big Daddy. Yeah, they're pretty good. Good golly. Okay. So we got a we got a dozen. I'm a I'm a whisper because there's there's a boat fishing behind me and there's also a boat over there, so I don't want to embarrass them too bad, you know. I already got my rod set up. It's in the water. We got a big weight. It's like a knocker rig. So hopefully we uh we cut something here. We're at a bridge. Don't really know how well this is gonna go. But I got a pinfish on. Augie's put on a croaker. Hopefully we get some action. Saw a bunch of porpoises earlier, so I don't know if that's good or dolphin, depending on if you know fish or not. So yeah, let's hope for the best. Well that sucked. We didn't catch a single freaking thing. We saw some guys catch catfish and a flounder. He goes, oh, it's a keeper. And then it fell off right at the side of the boat. Me and Augie thought that was a good old jolly laugh. So we're gonna go try out some docks since the bridge ain't quite doing it. And the tide kind of almost shut off here, but we go in a little bit more and the tide will still be moving around. And then maybe we can revisit the bridge or try a different bridge out or something like that. Usually the bridges are good this time of year, but it is what it is. We may even try out by the inlet. It's just a little rough. So we're gonna move spots and hopefully we get some. Well, we just pulled up to the next spot. We were just trying to get out of this bridge here and I just caught a, I hooked into a fish. Um, I don't know what I got, but he ate my pinfish. It's a jack. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's not happy. But we were sitting here, I'm trying to get us out of this ridiculous bridge we have here. And, uh, he came up and ate my pinfish. I was trying to get the trolling motor situated. It's not even plugged in. Ooh. All right, buddy. I beat you. How about that? That was weird. He didn't really fight a whole lot. No. Which is not like a jack. Just we grabbed the camera. I was, I was not ready for that. Yeah, I was like, oh, you grabbed the camera. I got a fish. He's like, what? All right. He's a pretty Look good at that guy. Jeez. There we go. All right, let me show this guy to you. Look at that little guy. Uh oh, we're about to go under this bridge again, but it's fine. Look at him. So that's a Jack Creval for anyone who doesn't know much about saltwater. They, uh, they're not really very good eating. I mean, I guess you could. No, very, uh, very red, very, very bony. Very bony, very bloody. Mm. Um, but they're very fun fish to catch. I, a lot of people like kind of dog on them. I like them, they're fun to catch. I haven't caught one in a while. I'll throw him back so yeah. I can uh, do this. So with Jack, you really just, there you, go. you just do that and it works. Jesus. So, are we recording? Yeah. Okay, uh, GoPros died and I didn't feel like recharging them yet. So, uh, we, uh, kind of just been sitting here, had a big old croaker on here, and, uh, I'm hooked into something. I'm not too sure what we got, but. <clears throat> oh, it's a huge stingray. Holy shit. Oh. Holy Look at the size of the stingray. Okay, well he's barely hooked, so I think we can get it out of him so he doesn't have to have some jewelry with him. Why would it eat a live croaker? That's weird. I'm, I don't even know what kind of stingray this is. <clears throat> See you later, buddy. I'm sorry. 
It's such a small tail. That was weird. That was weird. It had a weird little tail. I've never seen one of those before. Like that. God, the thing was like pulling a full like mattress through the water. Why would it eat a live croaker? That's no the dumbest idea. thing. Huh? All right. Well, we'll keep fishing. Well, that kind of sucked. Not gonna lie. Fished brand new water. Stuff I've never really fished before. And obviously, Augie's never fished it before. So I mean, didn't really expect a whole whole lot. I expected me to be a little better than that, but that wasn't. That was terrible. Grandma or Mima, whatever you guys want to call her, she wants a new fish tank. I think I mentioned that at the beginning of this video. So we got to run by the pet store and pick up a couple things for that tank. We got to go to home, clean the boat, and then to the sushi restaurant. So once we're at the sushi restaurant, I'll show a little bit of that there and then probably talk to you guys after that. But we're going to go to the pet store now. We'll see you there. All right, we made it to the pet store. I don't know if I can film it here, but look at this big guy. He's an Asian water monitor. Oh, you got two grand. He's super friendly. Grand. Yeah, he's super friendly though. And then there's a uh, Cleopatra. About 15 feet long. That thing is, it says around 15 feet long and about 200 pounds. Yes, she's friendly. Yeah, I don't know about all that. Not for sale though, that's crazy. So they got a whole bunch of stuff. Look, there's a, there's a tor tortoise in here. Should I get Spike a friend? Sure. If I moved him outside, I would. But they got everything in this joint. Like what's in? A whole bunch of snakes in this room. Look at this guy, what's he up to? Look, just snakes everywhere. Not too Look, they're all just, well, they're just, oh. oh. <laughs> Yeah, right, brother. <laughs> little lobster. Wait, what? A little crawfish. Would you eat one live? Like bite its head off? Are you crazy? No. You're not sicko like me. Not... They don't have a wide variety of salt water. It's only uh, I think they're, they're missing a shipment on salt water. A lot of freshwater stuff. The whole bunch of tanks. This place is pretty big. And this is just the, the salt water. And they get a huge selection. They have more supplies than actual animals at the store. He's just chilling in the back. I don't know what kind of gar he is. Oh, they have a clown knife fish. Oh, look at them all. <gasps> I want a bunch of those, but Kevin would eat them. Or you just beat them up a whole bunch. Yeah, like I can't have the car, I can't have the clown knife. I want all this stuff, but I can't have it yet. Or just get a whole new tank. I have that big tank sitting on the back porch. I'm still waiting on the stand to get built. Maybe we'll uh, we'll get that going soon. Well, that store's great. I love it. Uh, I'll pop up a clip of the monkeys running around right now. I didn't know if I was allowed to film in there, so I kind of just, I snuck it a little bit. But, because uh, also it was like right by the counter. So they didn't have a single thing that I wanted or needed, I guess. Didn't have the right sand, didn't have a lid, and their lights, there wasn't one cheaper than 100 bucks. So that seemed a little ridiculous. So now we are going to uh, probably another pet store and hopefully we can find something there. But that store is really, really awesome. If you guys are in South Daytona, go to Mr. Pet Man. That place is really cool. If you have stuff like that, I highly recommend it. In fact, this video is mostly just talking. I don't really know. There's not, not much action, bunch of talking, but we're working our way into it. I'll try my best to cut this up. And uh, God, I hope I can do something because I ain't doing nothing yet, but Jesus, yeah. <laughs> like the little sushi deal i don't know what i'm gonna put in this like that you guys see you guys are wondering what the restaurant's called it is in ormond beach florida which is just north of daytona it is called fugu f-u-g-u i'll leave a link in the description to the or well i won't leave well actually yeah, yeah how about that i'll put the, the website in the description along with the address if you guys happen to be in the area or live nearby please go by the food is phenomenal the fish is literally cut right in front of you as you can see and uh everything's fresh everything like it, it's unreal like it's the best sushi i've ever had and i'm not saying that because any biased opinion like it, it is the best sushi i've ever had i don't know if augie can can sushi, yeah. he said it ain't his favorite but he said it's very oh, good you know good enough if you guys are in the area or live nearby please go by there so we also did stop i found a light it's in the back somewhere found a fish tank light uh, i just gotta stop one more place get sand not even gonna bother showing you guys that uh we'll pick up when we get to Mima's house to do her tank yeehaw Alrighty, how's this lighting on you? Can you Pretty see good, me? Actually. Oh, that's heck yeah. Best lighting, best lighting we had all day. That's good stuff. All right, so long story short, I didn't film putting the tank together. Sorry. But we did it already, and they're happy with it. But me and my papa have one request. They didn't want to be on camera. So we're gonna go in there and pretty much talk to ourselves and we'll see if they'll give me a yes or no answer. Uh, and I'll just show it to you guys. I'll kind of explain everything so I don't have to just stand there and talk to myself for a while. But just to 
Typical hang on the back filter. Uh, white sand. Uh, it's pirate themed. They wanted to keep their pirate ship. So that was Meemaw's one request. Pirate ship. Okay, we kept your pirate ship. Uh, we're going to end up putting cichlids in the tank. A bunch of African cichlids. We'll do all different colors. Like an assorted bunch. We'll see. See what happens. We'll film picking those up and doing all that for a separate video and all that. Yeah, that's pretty much all I got. So we're going to go inside. Meemaw, did I do a good job? Yes, you did. And I love it. You love it? Okay. Yes. Even though there's no fish in it, you love it? Yes. And no no lid. We're missing a lid. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm glad you love it. This is it. This is it in all its glory. Well, last thing you guys saw was Mima's tank. We started headed home. It was getting dark, so we washed the boat real quick, headed home, and uh, we made it about 45 minutes. We are looking for a nice McDonald's. <laughs> Blew a tire in the trailer. <laughs> it was such so a good, like, end to it. It was, just, like, yeah, because, like, we, we've we been trying to get home. Like, everything has just taken so much longer today than anticipated. Well, luckily, this rest area was right here, so we're good. We're pulling up to a rest area now, and I'm hoping that the socket set that comes with this truck will fit this tire. Otherwise, we're just, you know what? I don't need this boat anymore. We can just get rid of it. Yeah, well, yeah the, the homeless guy can have it in the parking lot. So, uh, this is, that's what we're working with now, boys. Uh, a little tiny bit of rubber, uh, a whole lot of rim. But we're good though, because there's not any road has touched the rim. We, we did pretty good. So we kind of limped it here. We went like five mile an hour. Uh, only downside is it kind of bent the fender up a little bit. But you know, that's out of worst case scenario, that, that's pretty good. So we're going to get this thing fixed. stop uh, we got it fixed it's still kind of leaning a little bit because I think that tire is a little smaller but we're gonna limp it home we were limping it there we were going 75 76 yeah, like come on so now we just gotta hope and pray that the other one doesn't have any issues hey if I got I gotta say it so it doesn't like happen you know you gotta speak out of existence or something like that I'm really hoping I just want my McDonald's. This has got to be the worst trip I've ever been on Augie why are you what's so funny huh because it just keeps getting worse. Like, so, like something <laughs> just keeps happening every time. And it, it started out really little, but it just snowballed into like... Into I that. Just, I in, just into go, almost stranded. I just want to go like, home. Shout out to the guy who was at the truck stop. For Okay, hold on. We stopped there and no one to be found, right? There's one guy in his car. So I'm like, oh, let's go ask him. Augie walks up holding the tire <laughs> iron. I'm like, Augie, that's the worst look I've ever seen. Like, you just, you don't walk up to people at I, a truck I, stop to begin with. I, like, tucked it under my arm. Yeah, he was hiding under his arm as if he was going to, like, pull a knife on the guy. I'm like, I that's not, that's to, like, not better. I was like, as just as, like, I'm friendly. Innocent. I was, like, waving. I was, he's, like, <laughs> I'm, like, smiling He's at waving him. at this guy. I'm like, that's not it. Like, psycho so, yeah, he thinks he's just him. weird. He says no to having a tire His excuse iron. was kind of whack. His, he said, I got too much stuff in the back. Like, what do you yeah, got, dead body back there, buddy? And I I could, like, see in the back, did not see anything. I was like, all right, buddy, sounds good. You, you like, got you got places to be at 9 o'clock on a Thursday. Yeah. Got you it. You ain't gonna lie. Just be like, got got it, but yeah, just be like, I just don't want to help you. And be like, all right, that's fine, whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm a hoodlum, I get it. Then I saw a maintenance lady. I'm like, oh, she's got to know, like, yeah. roadside assistance. Stop. Like, yeah. something. And it's literally a rest area. Like, you could, there's got to be something. I'm speaking to her. I give her the full spiel. And she goes... I'm like, what? <laughs> She's like, I'm like, no English? She goes, I'm like, oh, you can't hear a single thing I'm saying. Nice. Like, what was I supposed to do? I'm like, you got to be kidding me. So now I'm talking to a deaf lady. She has no idea what I'm saying. So then another couple shows up. The guy was rude, but the wife was very nice and, yeah. and wanted to help. But she, like, was literally, like, from me to Augie, like, trying to talk to me. I'm like, am I about to get stabbed? Like, she, like, came up on me to, like, talk. That oh, it was behind. I was, I was, it was over. Was yeah, you were doing something. I'm like, tire. okay, you got way too close to a random stranger to rest stop. Yeah. Like, that was odd. But I guess because I'm a young kid, I guess it just seemed, uh, and I don't know. Maybe like I don't know. I, I, I guess I didn't seem like I mean any harm. Also, this McDonald's has been taking a fat man. <laughs> <laughs> we have not moved a single foot. So then... We ask her, the guy says no, she tried helping me, so that was good. Then she goes to the deaf lady, she's like, did you ask her? I'm like, you can try, I said, but she doesn't have any hearing and doesn't make any noises or nothing, so I don't know what to do. So then she goes, talks to her, and she's like, oh, she has a phone number for you to call. We're like, oh, great. So I went and got the number, Augie calls it, because I took a picture of it. So we call it, and the guy's like, 
oh, I just work there. I don't, like, yeah. so even the she lady had no idea. Yeah, she had no idea what we were talking about either, which yeah. I get that. There's complete language yeah. boundary there. Like, mm-hmm. or la- like I could I don't know what around with some Spanish. Yeah, like, like, I, yeah, like if it was Spanish like, or something. Means help, you know, help me. <laughs> the human, the, the we human. need help. <laughs> Somebody call the map. We lost. The, <laughs> I don't know. So then we had that. Then this guy, like, this red Tacoma was sitting there the whole time we were there. Like, yeah. There was no one to be found in it. I'm like, where is this guy? He must have been dropping a mean deuce in the toilet. Oh, absolutely. Because he was going for a fat Good minute. Then minutes. he appears and he's power walking to the truck. I'm like, uh-oh, we got to get there. Yeah. So me and Augie come storming over. Like, yeah. hey, buddy. I'm like waving. I'm like, hey, uh, like, can we get some help? And he's like, what'd you do? And then Buddy just happened to be Bob the Builder and had every type had every, of tool. He had a socket A jack, set, the a socket set, jack. everything. I'm like, okay, so where was he 20 minutes? minutes while we were there so finally he helped us and everything worked out but that just was just that experience alone like was just ridiculous yeah i, hope I just we, want mcdonald's I man like McDonald's. we've been talking about mcdonald's for it's like nine o'clock we haven't eaten dinner yet like <laughs> we had lunch at 12 that's the last thing we've eaten well, we were it's supposed nine. to eat like at seven. and then we we're supposed to get a nice hot dog place oh, and then everything just fell 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 and then now we're at nine o'clock like i'm just i'm over this trip it'll be 10 by week um, we get the it probably will be like so much to be in home at 10. Oh, and then on top of it, we lost half the lights on the trailer because those got ripped out <laughs> in the tire explosion. Yep. So that's sick. Uh, probably get a ticket. Probably going to get a ticket because I have half lights on my trailer. I was, And I'm already missing the right side tail light. <laughs> now I'm missing the whole left side light. So all I have is one fender light over here. Someone's going to rear end my lower unit. <laughs> Why is that so funny, Augie, huh? Why is lower unit so funny? I like lower unit. I definitely don't have a lower unit. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, the lights moving. Let's go. I know what you need. You need the fish filet and the the six count nugget. It's a 10 piece. Hey, buddy, I'll tell you how to live your life. Who's getting filet of fish? It's not fish (laughs) filet. Yeah, why is it called a filet of fish? Like, where is that supposed to be? Is it supposed to be fancy? That's definitely not fish. That's probably like gorilla meat or something. <laughs> gorilla meat. That'd be way more expensive than fish. That's the highlight of today. That was the Where's highlight the of today. I, I got free Not the four fishing. slices of fish. Oh, we didn't even... Sh- like, we got stuck today, too. While we were oh, fishing. yeah. I also got st- got the boat <laughs> stuck in mud. What is going on? I'm going to order my McDonald's. Oh, my God. Is this thing low on air? Dude, look. That thing's sagging hard. You got to be kidding me. I got two McDoubles. No pickle. Ain't nobody messing with pickles. We don't need those. <laughs> And then I'll do a large power raid with that. Oh, we don't like to power raid. What? <laughs> That's we have, um, we have orange high C, sweet cake, orange, orange fruit punch. Orange high C? Uh, how, how's that Sprite looking? You got Sprite? <laughs> yeah, we got Sprite. Oh, now we're talking. We'll do his large Sprite. Oh, and then two more McDoubles, only ketchup. Oh, and then another large Sprite. Oh my god. I forgot the rods were up. We barely missed it. Because it's like an 11 6 gap, and the rods 8 6. Oh, God, that was almost a catastrophe. <coughs> I think I got coronavirus while we're here. You got to be joking, right? I ordered a McDouble. No pickle. What does a McDouble come with, Augie? Read, read out the ingredients. What is it? Onions? onions like little, cheese, little onions, cheese, mustard. two patties, ketchup, mustard. Yeah. No pickles, because your boy ain't messing with no pickles. Look what these freaking idiots did. It's just two patties. I, I said no pickles. So I gotta eat a dry burger. Is there no cheese on it? Oh, they got. Oh, let's go. Oh, they gave you two slices of cheese on this one. Oh, they they messed up. They meant to put one on here and they put two on that one. Got That's it. it got it. Okay, bunch of idiots. We're gonna eventually get home, I guess. And, and also on top of it, it shakes now. We're we're doing yeah, this we're, the, we're whole the whole drive. We're doing sixty-eight. We're just getting it. This is sick.